Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On a minute today, and as you can see, just finished here, we're doing a lovely chicken soup. There are millions of videos online, thousands of ways of doing it. This one we're here, I've got plenty of veggie in there. We've got carrots, zucchini, potatoes. I've got some chickpeas in there, onions, garlic, cumin, and of course, some lovely chicken. Super easy, really good for you. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's get started on this chicken soup. So, chicken parts, you know, you can use a whole chicken, chop it up, you can do what you want. I've got a few different parts there. Skin on, bone in, salt, pepper, olive oil. We're gonna start off by just getting that chicken going with, with these guys. Then I'll show you some more ingredients as we get along. But first, let's go to the cooker. Okay, so we're gonna need a large pot. As you can see, I've got a, quite a large pot here. You're gonna need a lid. Just drop that little bit of olive oil in. If you wanted, you could be using sunflower oil, different oil, or even butter. Let's drop in our chicken parts. Like I say, skin on, bone is in. All these kind of fatty parts work really well for this. Salt and pepper, don't be shy with that. And then we're gonna go for about four to five minutes on a kind of medium heat. This is gonna be delicious. Okay, so our chicken it's got a nice bit of colour on it now, absolutely nowhere near cooked on the inside, of course. Now we're going to start adding some flavours, and the beautiful thing about a chicken soup is you can go in any direction you want. Today I'm going to be adding in a couple of bay leaves. I'm going to add some turmeric and chilli powder, uh, sorry, turmeric and cumin powder, not chilli. I've got some garlic here, there's quite a lot of garlic, like a nice big tablespoonful. I've got some chopped onions, these are cut really small but you can cut them how you like. And one of the things we're going to use to bulk this out is I've got some red lentils here, which I've just roughly washed. In they go. So staying on this kind of lowish heat, kind of a medium heat, let's go for about another three or four minutes to incorporate all these new ingredients. Okay, so olive oil, salt, pepper, chicken, onions, garlic, red lentils, the bay leaf, turmeric, and cumin powder. That's the direction we're going in with this. What I'm going to do now is going to add some water. You could be adding some stock if you wanted. I just prefer just to use water. So we're going to get a nice jug of water in there. And this is just the first stage. We're going to be adding more water again later. What I want to do now is bring this to the boil, let it go on a rolling boil. We want that chicken to start to cook. What we're looking for is this chicken to you know, absolutely fall off the bone so we can take it out and pull it apart a little bit later. And then we're going to be adding other vegetables. I'm going to be adding some potatoes, zucchini, and uh, carrots. But you could be adding anything you like. So just let that go. It's probably going to be, I don't know, eight, ten minutes now. Once it hits boiling point. And then we can move on to the next stage. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, this is looking amazing. We've got a lovely broth in there. What we need to do now is grab our chicken. Let's get it out of there. What we need to do is let it cool down a little bit and then we need to get the bones out of it, separate the meat. Now I, I will put back in the meat and the skin. Some people don't like you putting the skin in but to me the skin is wonderful. Look at that, fantastic. So that needs to cool down. We need to separate the bones. And then we're going to drop the meat back in. What I'm going to do now is add some more water or you could be using stock if you wanted. In that goes. And while that's cooling down, we're just going to add now some veggies. So here we go with some potatoes, chunky cut, a few carrots, again chunky cut. I'm also adding one can of 
chickpeas. Always give your chickpeas a nice wash. That's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm also gonna add some zucchini or courgettes, whatever you call them, but not just yet. So I'm gonna let that go. Bring it back to the boil, let it go on a rolling boil for about six minutes. Then we'll be back, we're gonna be adding our zucchini and our chicken. Okay, so these potatoes and carrots have been going for about five or six minutes. There's my chicken taken off the bone, so in that goes. Like I said, I put the skin in as well. Some people don't. There's the bones, they can be discarded now. I'm also gonna add in zucchini, which will just cut into rounds. We're gonna give that a stir. Again, like I say, with a soup, you can put anything you like in. If you wanna put some mushrooms in now, or some red beans, or some eggplant, up to you. This goes on, on doesn't it? Sort of anything goes, really, doesn't it? Okay. I'm now going to let this soup go for about probably another sort of seven or eight minutes. Make sure our potatoes are cooked nicely. Give that enough time to the, for the chicken to get back in there and do its thing. And we should be done. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, and off goes the heat. And that is looking fabulous. Now earlier on I said you can put anything you like in, you know, I mentioned vegetables, but you can also put a handful of rice in or some pasta in there as well, kind of box it out, makes it fantastic. Okay, if you wanted, you could be putting some fresh herb in here like a cilantro, coriander or parsley. Check this for salt, it's going to be great for me. I hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will see you soon. Chicken soup love.